Power BI just released a new update for Power BI Desktop, and this update came with a few new features that are really going to change how we build Power BI reports. So I want to take you through a few of these features that I think you would really enjoy. Um, what you want to do is you want to update your Power BI Desktop, either through the Windows Store or by downloading a new um, installer. And when you've done that, this new Power BI Desktop will have a few things that'll really really be cool to dig into so the first thing that they implemented was the ability for slicers to carry over through pages and this was something i've always uh, been asking about and it's finally here and it's really awesome so let me show you how it works so the first three pages here are the exact same page um, they have the same slicers same visuals and everything and by default when you click on a slicer and you can see that my sales are now 14.52 million. You come to the second page and you can see that that slicer selection didn't carry over onto the second page. That's how it's always worked and now it's finally been changed. So what you wanna do here is you wanna to come to um, this first page again and go to view and sync slicers. This is gonna allow us to make these slicers carry over to the next page. So I'll make a little bit of room here and go ahead and select the slicer. And now you see this new little view here. Um, you can see that the same slicer is visible on page one, two, and three, but it isn't synced to the other pages. So you wanna check these, and that makes this visual carryover. So if you just go to page two, you can now see that the total sales lines up with page one. And same thing about page three. But now if you try to change the occupation to, let's say, manual, and on page one, I now have $1.46 million of sales, page two still just has $14.52 million because now this second filter is not synced. So if we want to sync that as well, we'll now see the other two pages synced with the $1.46 million. So it's super cool stuff. But just to nail it in, um, a really easily visualized um, slicer selection. So if I change my date, and I have this dynamic title up here, so now I should only be showing data from January 2012 to June of 2013. Page two does not have this slicer selection because that slicer is not synced. So I think you get the point, but this is really, really important. Also, one thing you should note is when you click on the slicer and you see this uh, visible column that was checked by default since I have the same slicers on each page but if you did not have this slicer on the page this would actually pop up that slicer on that page so it would be a way of duplicating your slicer without actually having to copy and paste it so it's kinda cool um, another really big feature that Power BI implemented was the ability to click on multiple visuals and be able to keep their selections. Um, previously, whenever you clicked on one visual and it filtered the rest of the page, you couldn't click on another visual and continue to add on to that filter, but now you can. So I'll just take you to this last page here and walk you through what we're looking at. This is a graph of total sales by number of children at home. This is a little donut chart of a uh, number of sales based on product category, bikes, clothing, and accessories. Uh, and then I just have a table with all of the people that have bought their customer key, the um, category of which they bought their item, and their number of children at home. So you can see that we have all sorts of data in here as far as the category goes. Accessories, um, w when you go down far enough you would have bikes and uh, clothing as well. Here I'll just click on clothing just to show you that there is data with clothing in here with all different number of children at home. Uh, and you know when you click on let's say two children at home just show me that data you now see that there are um, only showing data in the table with two children at home. So that's really cool stuff but now when you control click on let's say the clothing category you still have the um, the data in your bar chart showing number of children at home but now it shows the uh, people with 
uh, that I've bought from the clothing category with two children at home. And you can see that in the table because now it'll only show people with two children and have bought from the clothing category. Uh, if you wanted to just see this again, um, clicking on three people and clicking on bikes, control clicking on bikes will only show people who bought bikes and have three children. So now it's kind of another way to um, to filter your data even further using visuals. So that is really, really important. One thing to note, since you can't control click on a mobile device, this is only available on a desktop version. Um, they're working on being able to figure it out on mobile, but for now this is only going to work if you're using a computer. The last really cool feature that Power BI implemented, this is a minor one, but it is pretty handy, is uh, an update to the numeric slicer, uh, numeric range slicer. So previously, when you added a, um, a number column, regardless of what type it is, if you click on this and you come to modeling, you can see that this is a whole number, but even though it's a whole number, it would have um, a range that showed decimals, so whenever you dragged it, it would potentially have decimals and it really didn't make sense with whole number um, data. So what I used here is I took a uh, customer key. Let me just bring that here. Customer key, which as you can see is a whole number. So now it does not show decimals. And if I wanted to show a very small subset of my customer base, you can see that now it all fits inside that customer segment, but it does not show, um, does not show decimals. That's not very flashy, but it really is pretty useful if you have a slicer that needs to show whole numbers. So I hope you enjoy that little update. Um, it really is a very big month for Power BI. It's taken a huge step forward. Um, there have been a bunch of people asking for uh, the first two features that I showed you. Uh, I know I've definitely been asking for it, and now that it's here, I'm going to change all my reports to implement this. So if you're excited, go ahead and update your Power BI desktop and try it out for yourself.